Ladies and gentlemen, welcome in to another fun video. Guys, if you can't tell, I'm trying to stall because I heard somewhere throughout the YouTube sphere that if you swear in the first 15 to 30 seconds of a video, they will devalue your listing. If somebody can let me know if that's true or not, I don't know. I should know. This is my job. But my actual YouTube CPM got slashed because apparently I was swearing in one video and it's just, it, the whole thing is such a sham with YouTube. The, you'll make a certain amount of money per 1,000 views and then the next day it just gets cut in half. It's ridiculous, folks. Uh, but the uh, Twitter account we're going to be looking at is called, it's called Fucked Up Looking Food. That's the title of it. I don't know. So that's what it is. It's got a lot of followers on the Twitter world there, looks like. And guys, there's some interesting foods here. We're just going to be reacting to these. We've got some eggs. Looks like they're two big eggs surrounded by ball sacks or something. And then it says, would you eat it? Yes or no? I'm not sure exactly what is, uh, maybe some seasoning is turning though, the egg whites, uh, you know, that pinkish color, looks like, you know, some, very, looks like skin color or something, I would have no problem eating those, honestly, if they're just eggs, I enjoy eggs and egg whites, there's no issues there, these are donuts soaked in rum and maple, I wonder, like, how soggy are those things? You get those things out of the, the uh, uh, jar, and no, I don't think those would be... I mean, it doesn't look horrible, but you got they have to use the right dough to make sure they're not extremely soggy, or maybe the rum is absorbed by the yeast with... Guys, I have no clue what I'm saying, I'll be honest. This is a spaghetti combined with a margarita. Yeah, this was obviously a joke here. I don't think anyone's eating that. That shit looks horrible. This one is meatloaf mixed with hard-boiled eggs. I'm not the biggest fan of meatloaf. I don't think I would be eating this. That looks hor It looks like it's been sitting in the fridge for about four days and somebody just took it out. It looks terrible. Minecraft spaghetti. Looks oddly appetizing in my opinion, but again, spaghetti is just so good. We all like spaghetti. I don't know who doesn't like spaghetti. Just the way, I actually think it might actually taste better because it's in a perfect square. It's a, it's a weird science to it. It tastes better. Oatmeal cream pie with a White Castle burger. I've never had White Castle in my life. I've always thought of the White Castle fast food chain as kind of like the white trash of fast food, right? Because they just serve these little burgers or whatever with a bunch of bread. It's like they got so much bread around the burgers, but um, I mean, it probably wouldn't be horrible. Those oatmeal cream pies are, they're, they're really freaking good. Oh my God, they got a new Mountain Dew flavor. Guys, apparently they're releasing this Mountain Dew flavor pumpkin. Pumpkin spice, the Starbucks flavor. Uh, I would get this 100%. I wonder if they're selling this. I'm going to have to look this up or something because um, I think it's fake, but imagine. It looks like really good packaging. I think it would sell out. You get a pump. They could do that. A pumpkin spice Mountain Dew flavor. Oh, it'd be so good. Deviled eggs with SpaghettiOs and meatballs. I used to always have, you know, the SpaghettiOs, but they made them, you could get just the regular SpaghettiOs or the SpaghettiOs with the meatballs. The meatballs are so good, but I don't know what's in those things. That is not meat. Guys, if you've, I remember the last time I've had these things, probably four or five years ago when I was younger, but the meatballs in the SpaghettiOs and meatballs, it's not meat, but whatever the hell it is, it's good. Um... I would, I mean, that, it looks nasty, man. That does not look appetizing, though, I'll be honest. This is smoked watermelon. So it looks like they put a watermelon in a skillet or something, and they smoked it, and it looks pretty good. I mean, I, you, this summer, I had a ton of watermelon. Watermelon is very underrated, as long as you know how to pick out the right one. There's actually a whole science to picking out the best watermelon you want a big, you want the watermelon to be discolored with a big circle that's discolored 
on one of the sides of the watermelon. That will give you, and also it's got to be something about it being not dense or something. I don't know, but there's a whole science to it. We were getting a bunch of watermelon and stuff. It's very good. Fruity Pebble Wings. I'll be honest. I mean, I think it looks pretty good, honestly. I'm not going to lie. Fruity Pebbles is a good cereal. Actually, pretty much every cereal is good. It's it's funny. Like, cereal is the breakfast, but cereal is pretty much all cereals are not good with good for you, but they taste good. And it's like the breakfast food, like to start the day. And I think it looks pretty. It depends what sauce you're mixing up. What are the wings? Guys, you want to know my favorite wings? Honey mustard. Oh, I love teriyaki's good. Bar I like any wings, guys. The people get picky with the wings as long as it's not really hot. But the honey mustard for me, oh, we used to get the pizza. You get the pizza, the wings from Antonio's, the honey mustard. Teriyaki's not bad. Barbecue, I mean, I, who, who, who doesn't like barbecue? But uh, this is Q-Tips. So this is marshmallows with the earwax being, I believe that is marshmallows combined with peanut butter. And who doesn't like peanut butter? I would eat that. That looks good. It's just kind of a fun little thing. Uh, SpongeBob chicken wings. So, uh, yeah, the Squidward, I mean, I don't know what that crap is. Is that seasoning, I would hope? Uh, the Squidward looks like some sort of broccoli that has a cancer tumor growing out of its side. I don't think, yeah, these do not look good. I'll be honest with you there. Birthday bean cube. Oh my goodness, it's my birthday. That that looks disgusting. That looks disgusting. Canned alligator. And you can see it looks like a baby alligators. They've got their teeth in the actual food. And it looks like some Japanese company or something. You, the, I mean, you eat that thing, you're probably going to die within an hour. I mean, how are they cook making these things? That thing should not be legal. Some Japanese country basically just chops up an alligator throws it in a can with a bunch of like like hot dog water and there you go and, and you'll get cancer. This is just what I would consider an unfortunate photo. A lot of people are going to be triggered by this. Where's the bull folks? Come on. Um, hot dog coffee. Oh my god. So yeah guys actually the thing is with coffee I was drinking drink a lot of coffee. I don't drink much of it anymore I get really weird now when I drink coffee. It's, it's, I don't know if it's, I get the, um, the Starbucks, um, what is it called? The Grande, the, the, the big one, the Grande, um, or is that the Venti? No, I get the Venti. Yeah, I was getting the Starbucks Venti iced coffee with almond milk, three or four pumps of sugar-free vanilla, and I was like losing it after I would drink this. Because originally I was drinking it. We got it every, you know, I'd go every Sunday for coffee. It's beautiful. And I started getting just jumpy. And like, I was like, I got to stop doing it. This is bad. So I started getting the small. Because it's like, how much caffeine is in this? I have a pre-workout, 300 milligrams of caffeine. I figure I should be able to handle caffeine. And then they probably have like, I don't know if there's like 700 milligrams in this thing. I'm like, what is going on? But then again, you have to think, when you have the pre-workout, you work out right after. So you're expending energy. When I'm drinking the coffee, I'm not working out after. So maybe that's it, but it was weird. And then guys, this hot dog coffee, I mean, you couldn't pay. I mean, that's just disgusting. This, I mean, this looks really good. I'm not going to lie. It looks like, let me tell you guys something. I believe if I can zoom in on this, it looks like the cookies and cream flavored Oreo. That's what the cream filling looks like mixed with th three patties, um, uh, you know, the bun and a bunch of white, uh, you know, cheese or whatever there. Uh, and th that looks good. I mean, it looks like diabetes. I think one bite would probably be about maybe 2,000 calories or something. But yeah, guys, when I was younger and I'd, we'd have lunch and stuff and my mom, and they, she would always pack me four Oreos, four double stuffed Oreos and I would always scrape the cream off and I would have all of the cream inside of one and we would be like diabetes and I'd just eat it. Uh, and that was good, honestly. Uh, this is sweet corn on the cob. It's disgusting. Guys, I had a horrible incident with corn 
I remember probably fourth grade. Um, I don't know how this happened, nor like because it was probably about five o'clock in the afternoon. We had dinner. I had eaten corn. I end up going to the Cavs game. This is when before LeBron left. It, it so his first time with the Cavs. This was like right before he left. So this was probably like 2010. I go to the Cavs game. We had these um these uh you know weird fries, but it wasn't the fries. It was the corn. I come back home feeling bad. I throw up and I have been scarred from corn ever since. But actually a few years ago I started to have a little bit I used to really like corn, but that, I guess that was like before 2010, so it's been a while. This is banana water, and you can tell this is straight out of the free continental breakfast area at one of those three-star restaurants. I would pass on this. The, but like, it's just, this, no, it's just a worse version of water. That's what this banana water is, because the banana, you can tell it's not completely ripe, and it's been sitting in the free continental area for you know it looks like multiple days there I'm, I'm sure they change it I don't want I don't want to bad mouth the hotels and things like that but I don't know it just does not look good this is just it says ice cream with everything on it there's a freaking lobster are those fake lobsters lobsters freak me out man I mean you see people eating lobsters with bread it's disgusting eat lobsters are nasty man they're nasty McDonald's pizza so you look at this, and I don't even care about the Happy Meal. What is the pizza, man? Is that like Chicago deep dish or something? I don't where the where's the cheese? I don't know, man. There's no cheese there. This is cheese pizza pre-owned. So I'm guessing a few teenagers, you know, gamers went to GameStop and pranked them and put cheese pizza in. It looks like fr cold cheese pizza inside the used, uh, you know, area of GameStop. GameStop is actually in business still. You'd think GameStop would be out of business kind of like, uh, you know, Blockbuster and those other ones because if you're ordering an Xbox, a PS5, it seems like it's all online. All of the games are digital now. They're all digitally downloaded, things like that, but they're still in business apparently. And then we've got this. This is a protein powder waffle yeah, protein powder does not cook at all. You can see it's just completely, it's just disgusting. I mean, I, even if that came out, I don't think a protein powder, just straight up protein powder waffle would be any good. But guys, those are just a few different, you know, foods that are funny. That is going to do it for this video. Make sure you're following me on Twitter. Link to that's always in the description. I'm, of course, the Depressed Ginger. Thank you for watching.